Well, he needs to respect his elders, not sit here and just get so with the customer. Get your hands off me. Come on. Please, can you leave, Hey, come on. You want to step outside? I find you to be the true blue mother honey. As long as you give me the thousand bucks, you can call me whatever the hell you want to call me, because I don't care. One thousand dollars, I'll give you cash. Not a problem. Yes, yes, yes! I wonder how much that is. You got Nothing. Apart from the occasional irate customers looking to get a refund, occasionally the gold employees at the American Jewelry and Loan Store have it tough as they've got to deal with weirder individuals in general. This guy comes in all the time. He's crazy. Big fuck, can I help? He's bringing in this bass fiddle bag. It's not solid. There is no bass fiddle in it. You're not coming here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. Now, since this guy was a repeat offender, they knew better than to just let him run wild around the store without checking what he's got on hand. Stay right there. Man, this is my bag. Okay. What's in it? <laughs> Tell me what... From how dodgy this weird guy was being, that only reinforced their need to check the bag at whatever cost necessary. Don't touch my bag, man! Well, if I can't touch your bag, how am I gonna know what's in it? Mother give me that bag! Give me that bag! Since they've managed to wrestle the bag out of his hands, all they need to do now is check whatever it is that he's got hidden away in there. Oh, oh, oh my god! My man! Oh my god! What the hell? Holy While making his rounds, Seth noticed a customer at the edge of the store who was trying out some of their baseball gear. Wanna buy that stuff? Nah, I used to be in the league. I played yeah. a lot. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is that the kind of helmet you wore? Nah, that's the exact kind no. of helmet I wore. It's similar. Somewhere, yeah. Feels good to put it back on for a long time. It'd be pretty cruel of Seth to just stop him from reliving his glory days. However, the main issue is the fact that this guy's been going at it for way too long, despite having stated that he doesn't plan on buying anything. Now you know we have it, so if you want to make a purchase, we want to Yeah, I'm good. Them. I'm good. All right. So, so you just... Uh, Wonder okay. is trying it out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, understand. I understand. Like, I understand. maybe one more punch, and then I think it's time. If you're not going to purchase it, maybe another customer would like to come in. The man immediately got offended by what Seth had to say, but it had to be said. After all, he'd been trying the item out for way too long. Some customer that just came to the back corner of the store and put on a catcher's outfit. I'm famous, man. I you used are? to do this all the time. I appreciate that. So, take it off. The guy got a little huffy and pissy at Seth's words, and if things progressed the way they were, he seemed almost ready to start a fight at a moment's notice. Yeah, well, he needs to respect his elders, not sit here and just get so with the customer. Sir, get your hands off me. Tough, tough, come on. Please, can you leave? Hey, please? come on. You want to step outside? No, no, no. Looking to make some quick cash, she can put up as a gift for her son's wedding after she'd spent everything gambling. This lady walked up to Les, hoping that he could help her in that regard. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. You're Hi, I'm Les. I'm going to my son's wedding tomorrow. I spent all my money gambling. I need you to buy this from me. Les managed to charm the woman, and she in turn wasn't shy when it came time for her to drop her compliments, too. I find you to be the most handsome, sexiest man. How much would you like to give me for my camera? Show me the camera. Let me see. Yeah. Since the camera works and everything checks out, they immediately get to the most exciting part, the negotiation. I really don't want to buy it. Um, what I can do is I can give you a $40 loan. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not going to go away quiet. Unfortunately, the negotiation has fallen flat, but the real problem is the lady who claims that she won't be going out without a fight. My valet escorts you out. Here's my valet. And I'm not leaving until I get something. Can I have my valet escort you around? Pick me around. Where do you want to go first? Thank you. Well, at least now we know what she actually thinks of her son's marriage. Fortunately for Les and Joe, the woman was reasonable enough to comply and take the chance to walk around the store while she cooled down. Yeah, with $1,300. Really? Maybe he ought to make me a deal on that for all my aggravation. $1,000, tell him. I'm lowballing him. I don't know what he told her. She came in desperate to get some money, so Les would definitely have some reservations about handing the item over if he can't confirm that she's capable of paying first. I find you to be the true blue mother honey. As long as you give me the thousand bucks, you can call me whatever the hell you want to call me, because I don't care. One thousand dollars, I'll give you cash. Not a problem. We end up selling him the ring for a thousand bucks. I don't get it. 
I thought she had no money, but it was a good deal for us. Ashley had to attend to this customer who was looking to sell his DVD player, which was in pretty good condition. The only thing, he didn't bring the remote with him, which is pretty vital. I'd like to sell this DVD VHS combo. I paid 60 for it, brand new. So I'd like to get about 50 for it. Get the remote? Um, no. Defeats the purpose, honestly. No one wants to get a DVD player that they'll have to tune manually when they just want to relax and watch whatever they put on. I need the remote. Okay, well, and I don't have with the remote. I couldn't give you $50. Okay, well, we can you do... We them... Can I talk? Please. I want 40. No. Ashley eventually caught on to the silly act this guy was putting on, like a petulant brat. He'd sort of mess with Ashley by copying her every move. Are you imitating me? Don't imitate me. Have a good day. Seth immediately stepped in to get this silly customer out of the store since he was causing a scene with his tantrums. Why don't you just mimic everybody outside the store? I can mimic you right here. Hey, hey, let's go. Come on. Yep. You forgot I your want DVD, DVD VHS DVD. player. Okay, come on. Busy chewing his gum in a very outlandish and truly obnoxious manner, this customer looking upon his TV walked up to Les asking for 400 bucks. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you, sir? That's good. Um, I'm on a this TV. I'm looking for 400. I can go 100. Excuse me? So people can help me move my stuff back in my mother's house. 100 is not going to do, sir. I need more than that. There's no way anybody in their right mind would pay that much for a used TV, that's for sure. But this guy wasn't done. He still had a story to tell. I have to get the away from him. Yes, what did he yeah, do to you I last night? He beat me up last night. You clearly don't see that. <laughs> you want to cause me to lose my mother temper. If he wanted to lose his temper, maybe it would have been best if he diverted it towards his ex who put him in this situation instead of thinking that he's going to pick a fight with an old man instead. I think you want to call security because I'm about to act a fool. Turn around. I don't need to call security. You don't need to call him. What the f you going to do? Yelling at Les was downright disrespectful, and Les immediately made it clear that he wasn't going to stand for it at all. I I'm think, honestly, no. Nah, you. I will never come back to my American jewelry alone. Y'all, y'all hey, so much. Friend. Have a nice day. You. Ashley was extremely perplexed and downright confused when she met with this customer who was being a little too familiar with her. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. How are you? What's okay. your name? Lisa. She's got a good personality and she's so sweet. Done with the pleasantries, the lady finally revealed the real reason she dropped by. Well, one of the reasons, if we were to count the fact that she kept on flirting with Ashley every chance she got. Well, how much you have it in pawn for before? Oh, I had it on 120. I was yeah. going to pawn it for 200. Do you want to take a look at it? Yeah, I got a good price. <laughs> I adore you. Ashley proceeded to check for the previous deal, but the results ended up revealing this lady might have been lying to her all along. She's never been here, right? I can't find her name in the system. You sure can keep a woman waiting. I adore you. I appreciate I not that. I lie to you. When she confronted the lady for lying, the lady decided to just go with the flow instead, which ended up working in her favor. I could give you my phone number, and you could call me, and maybe we could discuss all this. What's there to discuss? Well, anything you want. All right, step on over. I think I've got a customer for life. Les meets with two customers looking to buy some chainsaws, which wouldn't be weird if they were meant for cutting trees and nothing else. I was looking at the chainsaws over here. We have chainsaws. Can you make a deal on both of them? Sure I can. Let's see. Les knows a chance to make a profit when he sees one, and he's more than happy to sell anything he can get to the guys, as long as they're willing to pay. How much for all? $125 with the crowbar. That sounds pretty good to me. I like making big sales, but this is the weirdest group of merchandise that anybody has ever tried to buy from me. Pretty weird, despite being a businessman whose goal is to sell as many items as he can, let's not forget the fact that he's human too and he can get curious. All this stuff for? Home defense. What? Is that the what zombie apocalypse is a coming. I'm sorry? All, All kinds of signs. Weather's sure? changing. Meteors falling from the sky. These guys have probably watched a few too many movies. If not, they wouldn't be doing all this. 
Well, there's no way Les can convince him otherwise. In fact, why would he want to when he can just make more money off of them? So we're at 808 now. Got it? Sounds good. Thank you very much. That wasn't the only time that Gold has had to deal with the wacko. In this episode, a guy who claims he's the devil walked up to Seth. Good, how are you doing? Seth. They call me the devil. It's nice to meet you. He's all tattooed out. Their curiosity got the best of them, and they couldn't help but keep on asking questions about this guy and his appearance. How long did it take you to get all these tattoos? Probably 2,000 years. How old are you? 2,500 years old. I don't want gold. I want money. Why? Money's the root of all evil. So the devil needs some cash, so he's decided to just walk into a pawn shop instead. Well, Les and Seth definitely wouldn't mind taking the gold if it's real, though. I could have gotten $650 for this stuff if I melted it down and sold it to my refinery. How about $500? Can't do it. The man remained stuck on the price he called, but there's no way Les would clear a deal that isn't profitable enough. I take $650. I can't give it to you. Sorry. I guess we don't have a deal. The two customers had the very brilliant idea to try their hand at one of the slot machines placed up for sale in the store. Oh, we gotta pull this. Pull that. Try pulling that. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder how much that is. You got it. Nothing. Just because they hit the jackpot, they thought they were entitled to a prize, but they'd forgotten one major fact that they were at a pawn shop, not a freaking casino. This is what? a toy. That's a toy. No it's a toy. This is here for the customers to use. Well, you tell me where it says in English anything that you want, anything. As usual, in true female care and fashion, they thought threatening to call a manager would magically make things work in their favor. If only they knew how huge of a mistake that was. I'm gonna you talk to the manager. manager. You are. You are. You're the manager. I'm the manager. Oh, nice. Oh, they're gonna just say we're not gonna get anything. You're, 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 you're not. You're not gonna get anything. If you touch me, I'm well, just keep walking. Me. Don't, don't tell don't me walk. what to do. That's my daughter. Get your daughter. Don't now, put your hands on. Get your daughter. That was a big girl. After making a complete fool of themselves, Byron managed to push the mother and daughter duo out successfully. See you later, miss. Where did my daughter go? I don't know. Can't miss her. Joe had to deal with a customer who parked his car in the wrong spot. After dealing with the numerous complaints from commuters outside, he made his way in to find this guy who'd started the whole mess. White Ford conversion van, that's you? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, you think you got to move your car from that All right, can you give me a minute, man? I... No, you got to move it out in parking lot, private area. You can't park there. Unwilling to leave the line since it was almost his turn, the guy tried negotiating with Joe, hoping he could cut him some slack. I'm patiently telling you, dude. Well, after that nasty outburst, there was no way Joe was gonna let the guy carry on without complying with the right order. Don't touch me, man. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hi. Who is you? I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. Can we go talk outside? Man, tell your man to get off. Here, walk Don't outside. Touch me. Get the off me, man. I'm not going nowhere. The guy took that moment to have a mental breakdown. Joe immediately made plans to get him out of the store, no matter the cost. We'll try all sorts of cons on the golds, but they are pretty much immune to them. When a lady tries one as old as time, come on lady, be a bit creative at least. It doesn't take Ashley long to see through her and see her back. <laughs> My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was when she nice. Bought them, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? No cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. Well, those are three reasons, Ashley, but who's counting? Regardless of the number of reasons, what matters is that Ashley owes the birthday lady nothing except an escort out the door. Kills me. Anybody buying any Jerry from here? Don't get no more Jerry from hey. here because this hey. ain't good. Hey, hey, oh, hey, no, hey, no. hey, hey. Come on. I've played this game before. I know this was a scam. Two options. You, you pick whichever option you want. You can leave. No, I'm Second going to go where? Second option what? is you can get the receipt and then Ain't no can mother you f receipt. Receipt. I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. See you then. Little ass, babe. You need to go get fair right quick. The 
Nothing pisses off customers more than being told their items are fake. It's understandable, because some are probably banking on them for a quick buck. But still, it isn't the staff's fault. And Les happily reminds the next customers of that. I'm here to pawn these earrings. Okay. Trying to get $350 for them. Why do you need uh, the money? It's none of your business why I need the money. Pawn my mother jewelry. Man, you getting on my nerves, dog. How'd you get You ain't even looked at my Do you know that these aren't real? This conversation did not start out great and is getting worse by the minute. Talk about volatile customers. Even if Les wanted to help, their attitude has made him think twice. They're not real. And what's the deal, dude? No, just, hey, we just having just, a conversation yeah, with this man, yeah, but he just I can't even breathe. That's how you treat your customers when they come in. I ain't leaving this bitch till you give me my money. 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 I need my mother ass in. Time to go. No. Okay. Well. Yo, wrinkled up. This lady brings in a decrepit watch no one wants and then tries to pull some silly prank. Well, not on Seth's watch, lady. So what can you do for me with this? What are you looking to do with it? Trying to get some money for shoe shopping and just some extra money. I need to get back home. Right. You see how it's faded in the back? Mm-hmm. See how it's not working in the front? I see that. If she doesn't have gas, she might as well be on her way to break in her shoes. Granted, they are not new, but she would have also had to walk around in heels if she had gone shoe shopping. So a little practice wouldn't hurt. I'm trying to tell you is, I don't have any money to get back and forth home, so unless you're going to leave your job and take me home, then you need to do something with that. This lady sure knows just how to piss off a of gold. Since she has no gold to offer Seth, it is time for her to leave the store with her olives. Listen here, you mother I said I need some money because I need to go. I'm not interested. I think you are. I know I'm not. I think you are. Well, you, get off me. Back the Bitch. Lady claims she got a quote for 400 bucks over the phone for her diamonds, but they just don't make the cut with Ashley. I called up here and I got an estimated price, and they told me that I could get 400 for these. You, you called up here and got an estimated price? Yes. I said I have these three carat diamond earrings. And three carat diamond earrings? Yes. I'm looking at the diamonds, and I know right off the bat the weight is just not going to make it. I know I am not going to be able to help her. I can do 185. So what you're saying is you're not going to give me that $400, right? Wow. Why do they go off like that when they are refused? Rejection is a part of life, especially when what you have to offer is not needed. And this lady is about to learn how to handle it by herself or with help. Nikki! What? Oh, Nikki! Where this bitch at? She all of a sudden darted away from me, started screaming for Nikki. It was like a bat out of hell. Where this bitch at? Oh, Nikki! Hey! Don't you no, dare! That. I need my mother money right now! what this chick was talking about. She was very confused, but I know one thing for certain, Nana needed to go, go. Oh, y'all. Okay, have a good day. And kiss my ass. Kiss when two ladies come in to pawn their jewelry for a supposedly noble cause, hosting the pizza party of the century, Ashley does not know what to expect, but definitely not their reaction to her news. We work in a daycare. We're trying to have a pizza party for the kids. Oh, how fun. So how much money are you guys looking for today? Uh, 300. In my showcases, I sell these for under 200. So I can't pay you more than what I sell them for. They're real earrings, they're real diamonds, but they're not gold. That's more than some customers get out of Ashley for earnings in that condition, and enough to buy all the pizza daycare pupils can eat. Still, it isn't enough for the ladies, and things turn heated. <sighs> We're gonna need more than that. Yeah. That's not enough. This would definitely take care of a couple pizzas. I don't think you're hearing us. Do we need to get your daddy over here to help yeah. you? Because you need to give us the 300 right now. Oh, do I? Yes, yes. you do. Oh, really? Oh, it's the boy! Right. The following person on our list brought in a very real teenage boy and his fake jewelry into the store. And things were getting chaotic, as you would expect, when the kids interrupt her transaction. How are you? Good. I'm Seth. Hi. My name's Sharonda. Sharonda, nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. How you doing, Deontay? Deontay, nice to meet you. That's my son. Oh, yeah, excellent. It's my birthday. I'm looking yeah, for birthday. me a gift. How much is this one? 800. 800? Listen, you Here's need to shut up. How dare he comment on the store's items when he is wearing fake studs for 50 bucks? That money could have gotten his mom another thing in there for her birthday. She must be thinking of that, looking at what she does next. But that's bull. How the hell is he gonna tell me that? Look, I don't know fake. who the you think you talking to, boo boo, but you got me. Up. That's bull. You don't talk to me like that. Whatever. You, you talking to? Me. And the girl can throw a fast pitch. When a lady calls out Ashley's pepperoni-looking ass, her words not ours. 
Ashley shows her what she could do with her old purse. Either trying to get a loan on it or you guys can buy it. Mm -hmm. Trying to set up for maybe like 150. 50 bucks. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. But you're still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth it, why would you even say $50? So they didn't say it wasn't worth it. The lady blows her chance of being attended to by anyone other than Joe. And he most certainly wouldn't be giving her 150 bucks. I get some My pepperoni looking ass. Pepperoni ass? I don't even know what that means. Did she take a look at her own ass? Can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't have to talk to you either, so why don't you go home? The last customer on our list has a ring, a TV, and a baby ring to sell. But it seems the baby ring is her most prized possession. My name is Bebe. Bebe, no kidding. Bebe. <laughs> What's your name again? I'm Seth. That mean you're married? I'm good. Her ring was pretty nice. It has diamonds. It's 10 karat gold. Her TV was relatively nice. Did she just ask Seth that? That bold move could have gotten her more money for someone else. Too bad Seth doesn't want it and is only interested in her other merchandise. You want to taste my ring? No. Or lick it? No. Mm. Rick, <laughs> would you suck on my pacifier for 20 bucks? Rick makes his decision and earns a week's meal for his trouble. At the same time, Seth focuses on the valuable items the lady brought. How can she put that back in her mouth, though? That is one weird lady. Ready? <laughs> Being a box, you can come back anytime, pick it up. Mm. Sure. You want to do it? Sometimes the employees at the American Jewelry and Loan Store have to deal with some of the most mentally challenged customers ever. Hi, how you doing today? I'm good today. I wanted to find something nice for my son. I was kind of looking at some of these watches. Okay. Things were moving at their normal pace. Well, they were until this woman suddenly claimed that she couldn't find her device. Where the hell is my f phone? Something wrong? Yeah, my phone. I just let my f Did you take my phone? Take your phone. Don't touch me, yo. yo you better yo, get you off me because I. It's quite clear that she never dropped her phone on the glass when she walked in. Karen was even willing to attest to that. This woman's either crazy or way too slow since she refused to listen despite the fact that Karen, who was an eyewitness to this entire affair, Fair, had pledged this poor lady's innocence. Nobody don't got time yeah. for this, yo. Get this old ass lady you off get my phone. You gotta get your damn it. business. Ma'am, go check your car. Quit beating up on that girl. You let that little hooker walk away with my phone. She didn't walk away with nothing. She just walked. Yeah, all right. The customer came in looking to sell a watch that he got from his grandmother since he was in desperate need of cash to get back home. Dallas. Dallas, what are you doing in Detroit? I'm working, trying to get home though. Oh. It's too cold. Well, you should have been on a jacket. <laughs> what you got here? I watched my grandmother gave me. Uh -huh. Despite being a pawn shop, the American Jewelry and Loan Store also dabbled in the sale of high end watches too. And this watch didn't exactly make the cut. The problem is the metal on it is just stainless steel. And if you look, I see gold. But it's not gold. Rather than try to exit with dignity after Les showed him everything wrong with his watch, this guy decided to tread the warpath instead. Can't give me nothing. I'm sorry. Can I talk to somebody that knows what they're doing? How about your chain? You want to pawn me your chain? This is a bunch of bull man. I want to pawn my watch. Les wasn't going to indulge his very rude behavior just because he was desperate. He had to get him out of the store, and he needed to do it fast. Let me have you talk to my jeweler. Yes, sir. Here you go. Now, this guy's been in the jewelry business all of his life. I want 500. Nothing. Stop being a bitch. This is the worst pawn shop in the city. Les's actions when he tossed the watch to the ground were a bit uncalled for, but the guy was to blame, too, after all. He'd refused to pick it up when they asked nicely. Yo, you. Get him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, my man. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day, my man. Yes, sir. Ashley had always been the go-to person for fashion items at the store, and having accrued a lot of experience, her judgment's always been respected. 
I'm doing okay. What well, can I help you with? Either trying to get a loan on it, or you guys can buy it. Mm -hmm. Trying to set up for maybe like one fifty. Well, maybe if you can more. tell, it's actually stained. Okay. The nasty stain is a huge problem, and it might be the reason why the lady's trying to sell her authentic bag in the first place. Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than 50. If you know purses, then you know this is cost way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. Can I so talk to somebody else? I'm going to talk to your pepperoni looking ass. Can I get somebody My pepperoni else? looking ass. After insulting Ashley anyhow she pleases, she really thought she could just ask to see somebody else? Well, Ashley's about to show her how petty she can be. Can I talk to somebody nope. else? Why do I have to talk to you? Because you disrespectful. I'm, I'm disrespectful and you call me a pepperoni ass? Ugly ass bitch. Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. This guy walked into the store hoping to get his wife an anniversary present for her, using her grandmother's jewelry for an exchange. How romantic. Hi, how are you? Brian, I'm last. Nice to meet you. I need to get a watch for my wife's anniversary. Oh, it's not your anniversary too? Well, yeah, it is mine too. After checking it under the lens, Les managed to confirm if this piece of jewelry is a fake or not. And when it came time to give his answer, the customer wasn't exactly pleased with what he had to say. Well, do you really want me to tell you what I think? I tell me the truth. They're not real. Okay, I don't think it is, but if you say it is, we'll go. What are you going to give me for this? I want to trade for a watch. It's fake. I'm not interested. This customer might have a huge hearing problem, despite all of Les's attempts to tell this man that he's not interested in his fake item. Yet the guy just kept on badgering him. You're married, right? I am. Okay, I've seen your wife. Lucky you. Yeah, lucky me. And I don't think so. There's two f things you don't talk about. What's that? My wife and my family. Oh, kids? So here's the deal. The f little boy and that fat ass daughter of yours. The guy's really crossed the line he shouldn't have crossed. Walking into a man's business and threatening his family is a stupid thing to do. You know what, mother? Come on over here. Get off of me. Don't. Where you, you got to go? Please. Why do you got to push? I will go to the ends of the earth to defend my family. Period. Let's go. In this episode, this very odd customer thought it'd be a pretty good idea to just keep items that he hasn't paid for in his pocket, and he eventually learns that that isn't tolerated at all. I'm looking for cameras. What kind of good cameras you yeah, got? Yeah, whatever you need. Yeah, so some point oh, and shoot okay, right over here. here. All right, yeah, I think I'll take this one. You just want me to ring you up? Seth, who was dumbfounded by his casual act of just storing the camera without a care in the world, immediately made sure to speak out on that. I'm still going to be shopping around. That's fine. Let's pay for it now, and then you can keep it in your pocket, and then you can keep shopping. Why can't I just pay for everything at the end of shopping? Then I'll hold the camera until you're ready. But it makes no sense. I'm going to buy the You know camera. what? The, the best part of being the owner of this place, it doesn't have to make sense to everybody as long as it makes sense to me. The real nonsense here is the fact that he's finding it hard to just drop the camera and let him hold it for him till he's done shopping. If he really wants to get it, it shouldn't be too hard for him to pay for it. Right then, right there. Well, it sounds to me like you're trying to call me a thief. I ain't no, no thief. What I'm trying to tell you is that's the rule, so take that out of your pocket now. Your store is a bunch of you can leave, sir. I'd like to be able to walk around the store, and then I'll show you my money. Having had enough of the nonsense that he's been spouting, Seth asked to have this guy tossed out of the store immediately. Byron, clock his ass out. Good day, brother. No, I, no, you won't let me buy it? Have a nice day, sir. I'm still shopping. In this episode, two ladies walked in looking upon their jewelry. As he normally would, Les tried to start a conversation with them. I'm here to pawn these earrings. OK trying to get $350 for him. Why do you need the money? It's none of your business why I need the money. How my mother jewelry? Les should have known better and just minded his own business, but he decided to go ahead and ask another unnecessary question later that was met with outrage from the duo. How many kids you got? I'm coming in here with my jewelry to get money. How many kids you got? She just told you. They are real earrings. They're just not real diamonds. They are. No, they're yes, not. The Having worked with diamonds for a long time, Les should definitely be a master at picking out what's real and what's not. But the women don't seem satisfied at all with what he said. And what's the deal, dude? No, hey, just, we just having just, a conversation yeah, with this man, yeah, but he just can't even his, breathe. That's how you treat your customers when they come in here? I ain't leaving this bitch till you give me my money. money. I need my mother ass here. And that was the final straw for Les. Before they could get even wilder than they were now, he decided to have them escorted out of the store. Time to go. No. Okay. Yo, wrinkled up probably ain't had no f***ing years. Supposed to be jewelry and long. Bullshit ass shot. Raggedy mother 
<laughs> Looking to get herself a new watch, this customer walked into the shop and approached Ashley and Karen, who were both happy to help. Hi, I'm looking for a watch. Might be about $100, I got $100 to spend. All right, do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. Okay. It's really pretty. It's really Looks pretty. Looks good on you. She's found her fit, it seems. Now all that's left was for her to pay for the watch, and that's where things went bad. No. What is this? It's a $100 gift card. $100 gift card? $100 gift card. These are not our gift cards. That is not our gift card. Despite Ashley taking the time to explain how things are to this woman as concisely as possible, she still managed to exhibit an exhausting level of ignorance that was quite befuddling. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing $100? What is she gonna what say? What y'all don't understand up in here? The ugliest two sisters I've ever seen in my life. Are you my sister? Hey, no. Sister? Since she's shown herself to be someone incapable of being reasoned with, she was tossed out of the store where she belongs. Where my money's at? Hey, walk up. I need my money. Hey, what you so mad for? Go ahead. Man, they took my money, man. They took my money, man. On one of their busiest days ever, this customer came in to pick up an item his daughter had placed in pawn a while back. Pick up some stuff for my daughter. Is it in pawn? Yes, ma'am. You have the ticket? No, she called down here and said I could pick it up while I was down but here. Without the ticket, we can't give it to you. Well, I, hey, is there anybody I can talk to who owns the place or manager or something? Me. The man immediately got upset when they refused to hand his daughter's item over, a system set in place to protect each customer's items. What kind of business you running? A legitimate one. How did you steal people's stuff? I'm not stealing anything. I bet you weren't talking, giving my stuff. You were out here, I'd get my stuff. I'm not going to go all the way back to Mississippi, come back down here just for a ticket. Instead of trying to find an alternative solution or trying to reach common ground with Les, the old goof decided to go off the rails and start a shouting match with Les. And what's he going to do? Yeah, I took alligators bigger than him. I, I ain't scared of yeah, him. Yeah, but he ain't no alligator. He's just a bad mother. Okay. Oh, stop. I tell you what, big boy. Oh, hey. Byron eats alligators for lunch. Occasionally, the Golds have to handle a few customers who've come back looking to get a refund for an item that had already been tested at the store before they took it home. I came here the other day to purchase this laptop. You turned the laptop on for us, uh -huh. and it came on, but then uh, it, it just, just shut off. went off. We can charge you to fix it. For what? what? It was already $200. Oh, no. Like, you, you cannot mean? charge us for something we bought. To kick back against the huge loss, the American Jewelry and Loan Store actually has a no refund policy in place. Show me the receipt. We don't no. have the receipt. You have to have the receipt. Wait, wait. Well, I don't want to hear that. Home. We spent our money here with I don't you. want to hear that. Now, so you have another it. one in the bag? Or? I have a lot of them. They didn't even have a receipt, which is a huge error on their part. Les can send them back home without even giving them a replacement if he feels like it. What are you yelling at me for? Because you are acting stupid. It doesn't work. So you selling broke. Take this computer. Take it on home with you. Go back. Get stuff. You can bring it on. Stuff, please. Their whining was deafening. Fortunately, Byron was close by and ready to get him out. How much can I listen to this? Please, let's go. After they got wind of a commotion taking place in the store, Les, Bobby J, and Seth raced to the scene immediately to get a grasp of whatever was going on. You're checking out this here couch, you know, and uh, my man's walks over, knocks over the lamp. I picked it up for being a nice guy, protect y'all's establishment. My man blaming that on me. I don't know how I, don't got, know. Bro. I saw you knock it over, bud. And that's the reaction of a guilty man who knows he's been caught. All they need to do is squeeze the money for the lamp out of him. That's I'm not paying question. for the lamp. I yeah, thought we went through this. The I am. I'm crazy, mother. How crazy are you? Crazy enough. How crazy? To I do what? Check. To do what? Whip your ass, man. You don't want to do the. Having been lied to initially, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to believe Byron wanted to rough this guy up pretty badly. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Byron, it's time for him to go. I get off. I got him, sir. A guy needed help. Yeah, come on, son. I dare you. People do a lot of crazy things. But just when it seemed like he was getting geared up to actually fight Byron, this guy decided to do the unthinkable, cementing his status as either a genius or a really crazy person. Oh, what the f Good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> really? This woman was not the only thing her ex-husband did. He also gave her a fake ring, and she just couldn't handle that fact very well. How long were you married? 13 years. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so I need some cash. Okay. He gave me this ring, and I want to see how much I can get for it. It's going to be under 1000 Under 1000 Yes, ma'am. Why? Well, because you have a little chip on the side of your stone. Oh, let's just go somewhere else. No, he don't know a damn thing. Poor woman. No husband. You want to try to hustle me. He's going to say I'm stupid. Byron the Snuggle Bus has a job waiting for the woman's son if he ever wants to be a security guard for the pawn shop. He did impressive work with his mom. You want to get her before I get her? Yeah, mom, let's go. Let's just, let's wait, go. I'm not going. Yeah, He's go insulting me. Hey, what? This man's seven foot tall. You don't know who you're messing go. with. Get on over here. Damn it. Oh, you're powerful. Yes. You need a job, young man. A woman comes in demanding money for a beat up printer. She ends up in the arms of the pawn shop security man and then out of the store. Hi, my name is Dominique and I wanted to uh, find this printer for $30. You're going to give me $30 today, right now. I need this $30. You can get $30. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get $30. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't care about it being busted up. We're not anymore. taking it. No, no, y'all go take it. Y'all go take this printer. Okay. Dad. Dad. Now it's time to go. No. So she throws it down on the ground, breaks it to pieces, and then we had to escort her out. This woman pawned her golf clubs but still wants them back. She thinks playing ignorant can intimidate the staff to give her what's already been sold. What are we doing today? Just getting out my golf clubs. Your clubs? Yeah. You sold the clubs to us. You didn't pawn them. I clearly have a clear head. I've been sober a lot longer than you're today. If you passed your drug test, I don't think so, honey bunch. Really? Really. She then insulted Les, his staff, and his religion. This lady needed to leave the store, and Les' security guard made sure it happened. It would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your thugs look for them. Let me make this perfectly honest. Uh, let me okay. make it perfectly clear. Jimmy. Anyone down on the lock, you make big fat money off of in your Jewish ways. Bitch. Get your hands off of me. Go outside. Get your hands off of me! Yeah. Get your damn hands off of me! This bitch had to go. Ma'am, no. go yourself. The most immature customers fight over a coat. Ashley decides they're not worth the trouble, but even security has a hard time breaking up the childish fight. This is my no, jacket. No, no. I just put that there. Oh, you didn't have your hands on it? No, I just put that no. there. Give me my jacket. Oh. Hey, I'm taking this home. Hey, I'm taking this home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just, I just put it on my cat. touch okay. a customer in here. I'm taking the coat home. Nobody's taking the coat home. Both of you guys go. No, Nobody gets the coat. No. Okay, Nobody gets the coat. Nobody gets the coat. Nobody gets the coat. Nobody's going to get the coat. Yeah, whatever. No, you. You. Whatever, bitch. This next customer doesn't have a receipt, but wants a replacement phone. Rich decides security should escort him off of the premises. So, man. Hey, what's up, dog? How you doing? Well, I just got this phone that I bought here like two, three days ago, and this don't work. As soon as you give me that receipt, I can see what I can do for you. I don't have my receipt. I just clearly told you that, man. Clearly you told me that. I was going to clearly have to knock his freaking head off. You didn't buy that from us? Yes, I clearly did. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on over here. You can go back to selling phone. that computer. No, hold on. No, no, no. Don't touch him and let him go. It's a simple question. Does this phone work? You know what, Joel? Can you go show him how it works? Uh, take a picture out in the parking lot. Don't touch my phone, show, dog. Show him how the phone works outside. Why are you touching me? OK, just don't touch me again. Two angry rednecks stir up some trouble when the pawn shop doesn't want their outdated hardware. Out of the blue, an elderly woman puts the rednecks in their place. No security's needed this time. Oh. How you guys doing? Good. Got some equipment here. Yeah. If we need some money, we're going to out west. Most people don't get that aggravated when they bring in, like, ancient artifacts. Yeah, they people collect these. Oh, they're antiques now. You don't have to be a smart ass I'm not about trying to be a smart ass. I'm trying to help like Give us a thing, man. You know, I couldn't give them anything for these computers, but it's good to know ZZ Top is still in Detroit. Now you should have that. Put it in the dumpster if you want. The friend of the man who came in to get a friendship or engagement ring is the only guy who got thrown out, and for a good reason. He was just looking out for his friend. Friendship ring? A friendship ring? Yes. Nice friendship ring for my friend. What, what does that mean? Um, 
I really love her. Yeah. You know, she's more than a friend. Right. Ooh. No, that's How you think? not a friendship ring, though. No, it's an engagement yeah, ring. My, Engage, but you just said you want a friendship no, ring. My, I'm dealing with him. Please mind your business. So, carrot 75. But no, it's his God, money. Yeah. Who are you? No, who you can't, yeah, you can't spend my I'm, money. That ring probably costs $2,000. Mm. 4500 4500 I'm getting a deal. Why you I can't get a deal? You lost your <laughs> damn mind. You you you. Everything is up now in my mind. Don't worry about it, you sir. Know, we're we're up until up, six. Man. Why are you so mad that he's spending the 1500 though? Because he's my friend. Who the hell go and spend 1500 on something? When a man can't get 20 bucks, he assaults a tree and runs away before security can stop him. Byron gives him some good advice before he goes. I would like to get a loan on this, please. Okay, how much would you like? $100. Okay. I can do the $100. Okay. I get my 100 plus another 20%, which make 120. No, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you serious? I need my $20. I want $100. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me pull my point. Hey, shut up. My man, let's just go. Can I get my money? No, man. actually, I'm not even offering you the $100 anymore. Anyway. Oh, for real? Yeah, for real. You ain't that $120. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. I'm taking a shot with me. I'm getting something out this bro. I'm going you down for the sign, my man. Laptop pawn goes all wrong, and now security has to escort this angry woman out of the store. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I like your nail polish colors. Thank you. What do we got here? A uh, laptop? A laptop. Try again. There you go. Perfect. And how much did you want to get on this today? At least 165. I'm here to help you. OK, Here's well, you have a really, really bad attitude. It's like you don't like your job. If you don't like your job, you shouldn't work here, sweetheart. I'm sorry, you really shouldn't. You want me to help you? Your worst mistake is to tell me off. If you can't do 165, then I can take my business somewhere else, flat out. You done? You all, I don't give a like I said, I don't care. I can take my business somewhere else. The woman manages to start yet another fight with a customer. Byron has no other option but to carry the angry woman out of the store and make sure that nobody hurts themselves. Hey. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Um, I was here yesterday, and I had got my TV out of time. Okay. I need this receipt to show what I spent my money on. We don't get receipts. Y'all give receipt. out receipts. I do business with y'all all the time. You are sure you're at the right place? Bitch, I beat your mother you look nice today. Bitch, your mama look nice. Can you give me my receipt, please? Just because you don't agree with my rules doesn't mean you can act like a fool. So you gonna sit there and act like that? Yes. Bitch, I'll burn this mother down. OK, it's time for your ass to get out of here. This lady claims that she spent a grip in the store, but if she's to have any help of reclaiming her money, she needs to get a grip on her temper. But all we know is that it's easier said than done. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? I asked for a chinchilla scarf. Yeah. And you sold me a rabbit. A bunny. How do you know it's rabbit? Because my girl told me it was rabbit. I took it home. She it... threw it back at me and told me this ain't chinchilla, this is rabbit. Only one thing's going to clear this up, and of course the customer doesn't have it. Who throws away the receipt before deciding how satisfactory the product is? Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. You don't see this? Look at it. It's flying through there. Look at that. Ain't nothing chinchilla about it. I want my money now. Have a good day. F you too. I want my money. Man, I spent good money up in this bitch. Why you so violent, girl? Go on up out of here. Looks like the answer is everybody who comes to American Pawn and Jewelry. The next customer on our list has a ton of diamonds, but with no leg to stand on, there really is little the golds can do for her. That's the golden rule. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was nice. Bought, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? Do you have the uh, receipt? No. Do gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. yeah. Second of all, no cash on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. There are many things wrong with this lady's jewelry, and Ashley can swear it didn't come from them. Of course, the customer doesn't like the sound of that. Nobody does, and things get more real than her earrings. Hold here. Hold well, um, excuse me, anybody buying any jewelry from here, don't get no more jewelry from hey. here, because this hey. ain't good. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey, no. hey, Get out of here. Get out of the store. Two options. You, you pick whichever option you want. You can leave. No, I ain't Second going option. No where. Second option what? is you can get the receipt. Wait a mother when a purchaser brings his aunt with him to fight for his rights, you can be sure that it's not going to end well. 
But if there are any doubts, his response to Seth's golden question clears it up. I'm Barbara. Nice to meet you. And this is my nephew, nice Leon. Leon. Hey, Leon, nice to meet you. We came up here a couple of weeks ago, and my nephew had pawned his TV in. Uh -huh. Right, so he pawned about three months ago. Yeah, so we're up here now, and all he wants is a remote for his TV. You ever see that you, where you purchased it? Only thing uh, I have. There's no evidence a remote was part of what this lady's dearest nephew bought. But guess when it comes to family, she doesn't believe in following logic. Now, it's too bad for the duo that Seth doesn't subscribe to theatrics. Oh, I got it right here. That's the barcode for the TV. Oh, you took the barcode off the TV. If we could just get, get a remote home. for the TV, right. you know, that'd be all good. I can sell you a universal remote no, if you no, like. No, 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 no. Get out of here. My, I get my out. Now. I'm not leaving out here till I get my Wait a minute. The door's right there. Have a good day. Because you got a big dude, you think you hard? Most customers fight because they got no receipt but it's rare to see one fight because she wants one. This lady's got to be at pro at doing her tax returns, or in this case, her boyfriend's returns. And I had got my TV out of pawn. Okay. They didn't give me a receipt, and I need the receipt. We don't give out receipts. What you mean you don't give out receipts? We don't get receipts. give out receipts. I do business with y'all all the time. You're sure you're at the right place? Well, that escalated fast. What other proof of payment for her own stuff does a lady want? Except that it's back at home with her like the pawn never happened. I need a receipt. My man needs to know what the f I spent my money on. And you sitting there looking all stupid. And f you can look at me like you stupid if you want to. I want my mother receipt. We don't give our receipt. Just because you don't agree with my rules doesn't mean you can act like a fool. Can I get my receipt? My man wants to know what the f I've been doing with my money. Can I get I don't my know what the f you've been doing with you. If she doesn't get into trouble with the IRS, she'll definitely get into trouble with the police. Who goes to somebody's territory and threatens them with arson? Okay, it's time for your ass to get out of here. Get your ass out of here. Raising your voice does not get you better service. The only thing it does is get your ass thrown out of here. We hear funny excuses all the time at the store, but one you don't hear often is that somebody stole my ticket. Okay, to what end? Nobody's taken anything out of pawn with no means of identification. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. I'm coming to get my earrings out. I ain't got my pawn ticket, but I got my ID. Okay, you know it's going to be a $7 charge for the ticket. Right, but somebody stole my ticket. Ma'am, can I help you? I'm overhearing some Who yelling. are you? Who are you? Manager, can I help okay, you? Okay, first of all, y'all got all this money, and y'all can't make me a copy of my receipt? No, you don't have your receipt. The $7 extra charge for having no receipt has already gotten the customer into a twist, and when she finds out that there's more to lose, she loses her cool. Can't say I can blame the lady, though, with Ashley brandishing the receipt in front of her like that. Oh, bad. ticket that you didn't have them when you brought them in, we don't have them. I'm going to whoop your ass. You are? You them cars in the back of my cars up. And it looks like it's probably time for this lady to get out of here before she ends up hurting somebody. Get out. You get out. Put me out. Put me out. You got to put me out this bitch. Hey. I ain't going no my you know, that's bitch. Joe. I don't care who he is. Hey, put your stretch pants on. Oh, I'm Girl, sorry. Out. A biker with attitude and no receipt gets the only remedy for people like him when he starts yelling at Karen for a miracle. Uh, I want my money back or... You bought it here? Coat, yes. This coat looks a little beat up to me. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm not very happy. Do you have your receipt? No. Does this dude realize the number of people walking through that door daily? Except that he's Ryan Gosling's twin, there's zero chance of Karen remembering the guy. I want my money back or I want another coat. Can't help you unless you have a receipt. I can't give you another call without a receipt. Take, I'll just take one. Then. What do we got? Um, Byron? What do we you got here? Assist this, sir, what do we got here? What's wrong? I'll take this whole damn wreck. Hold on, my man. Hold on, I'll take this whole man. wreck. What? This ain't, this ain't you, man. Calm down, man. Let's go. The last customer on our list isn't too happy with what he got the last time in the store, but this little issue can't work out without a receipt. Hey, man, I need to talk to somebody about this. This piece of junk I bought in here just a couple days ago don't work now. It's broken. Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. I didn't think I needed to keep it. There's nothing I can do for you without a receipt. If you had the receipt, I could give you an exchange. I could give you some. I don't want an exchange because it's probably going to be some again. Les has a solution to all kinds of problems, and it's none other than his trusted security. 
As expected, Byron provides the swiftest answer to the meathead's issues. Anything. All, all, and you can back off too, man. Like all this uh, security great. standing around or whatever. I don't give He's a rat's ass my... about that. Well, we don't you know give I mean? a rat's ass either. Like I I'll said, there's no that. receipt. Look here, man. You better back off too, oh, man. Like, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 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 let us go beat to her steps, making it clear that she was pissed off by something or someone. Hi. Hi, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. Naturally, the scenario she claims now could actually happen, especially after her ticket has expired. But the thing is, Ashley apparently knows how the purse truly made its way onto the shelf. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. Here's the money. I want the purse. That bag was never in pawn. Since the lady remained delusional, Ashley tried to make things clear to her in an attempt to stop her from causing more scenes than she already has. If you want to buy it, I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not. First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a and idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm going to come over that counter. After that very uncomfortable moment they spent staring each other down, the lady knew she wasn't going to get her way as easily as she thought she would. So she rethought her steps and tried to do the unthinkable. Okay. Oh my God. Get, get your hands off me. Have a nice day. Let's go. Oh, Walk yeah. yourself out. Yeah, you. Walk get yourself out. Hands off me, You'd think those were the worst ones yet, but wait till you see this lady who was trying to bring in her TV. Well, she was until it suffered a pretty nasty fall. Oh, hell no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bitch, you hear me? Bitch, what you made bitch? me drop my TV. You dropped your TV because you wanted to drop With how hard they were going at it, it almost seemed as if the lady was getting ready to get into a physical altercation with the other lady if need be, but Ashley immediately made her way over to handle the situation. Hey, 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 hey. Sh hey what's up? you, sh she broke my TV I when I came out the door. So how did she break your TV? Because I told her to hold the door and I dropped it and it cracked. It's cracked. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Um, I don't know. Is you the manager? Yeah, so maybe you're you the manager, but you ain't acting like that isn't exactly the right way to treat a person trying to help. You can't hold it against Ashley if she decides to toss the annoying woman out now. Like I said, bitch, you gonna pay for my bitch? You gonna hey, pay for bitch, my bitch, is you is huh? what the fuck is you gonna do? Bitch, bitch you gonna pay for my Don't act stupid. Despite having gotten her just dessert, the woman refused to relent on her attack and kept on talking up a storm, throwing threats all around without a care to the world. Who is the type that will get smacked? Really? Really. Try it. Y'all got me f***ed up. You have Go get one my TV. minute to get your you out of our me. store. After having missed payments for two whole months, this woman had the audacity to complain about the service she got when she tried to pay just a dollar. Hurry up, please. Well, I gotta be working three o'clock, so please. Ma'am, do you wanna come back when you have more time? Can you get somebody else to uh, serve me? If she would have looked at our policy, she would see that on a $1,200 loan, you need to pay $50. Since she seemed uneducated on how things work, Les took it upon himself to kindly explain how things actually work around the shop. If you put anything in layaway, you have to put more money down. But, okay, I understand that. I'm not old, I'm not seen now, I'm not a So fool. you even, well, if you're not a fool, why would you even come in offer a dollar? The lady was a nasty piece of work, but they had no option other than to attend to her. A customer is still a customer, after all. Despite her very condescending tone, they could only try to help her regardless, as long as she doesn't go too far, of course. Time is ticking, time is So money. why don't you come back when you have time? I live way in my land. I'm not coming back. This is poor business. I done gave y'all so much money, and then this is how I get treated. Man, you're you know what? I hope you and your money live good on this earth, because when God comes back, baby, yeah, man, man, man. you're going to be just. Of all the stuff that she's done, what she said was the straw that broke the camel's back. The Golds decided to take necessary measures. you. Please. It takes a lot for my dad to get upset. This lady took it to a whole new level. She crossed the line. Looking to sell a watch, this customer walked up to Les, asking him for $400 for a watch he claimed to have gotten for double the price. Doing good. Good, what can I do for you? Let me at least like 400 for this watch from here. 
What can I do for you today? Can I get like 400 for this watch right here? We deal in high-end watches. This was worthless. Nothing for us to deal with. Les appraised the watch and pegged it out to be absolutely worthless, a point he made sure to pass across to the man. But instead of just taking his business, this man decided to fly off the handle instead. Well, give me like 450 for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick, living, I'm sick living at the crib, man. My girl on my head. Boy, give me 400 for this watch. 400? No, I'm sorry. This is a bullshit ass place, man. This whole ass place. Bro. Les tried to be as nice as possible as he could to the guy, despite how annoying he was, kicking up a fuss and all. He went further and he did something that made Les lose his cool. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick it up. Hold me. Y'all, don't touch me, homie, dog. Touch me, dude. I'm out this bitch, man. y'all, man, for real. While trying to deal with a thieving employee, Ashley got dragged into another drama when she had to deal with this man who had just gotten his item out of pawn. Bought him in like, what, like two months ago? All of a sudden, it's just up now. The nose piece that came off. So can you fix him or something for me? Let me see it. Some bulls. I'm like, what the is this? Okay. It's a screw missing, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh... It's quite normal for him to get upset over something like that. It's his item that got damaged after all, but he doesn't have to be that rude about it. Oh. Can you just put a screw in there for me? I just fix my please. I can. I can charge you. You can charge me? Yeah. What kind of is that? I was going to help you, but your mouth just kept talking. Listen, can you just fix my glasses, please? I will pay for it. Okay, 15. Things would have gone quite well if he had just done exactly what he did now, but being the undisciplined yoke that he is, he just couldn't help but make some rude comments along the way. A little short ass. It was not like that. Screw was missing his Take Go somewhere else. Let me get your money back. Come over here. Here's another rude customer who needs a lesson on the proper etiquette needed for engaging strangers, especially strangers helping you out of a bind by buying your item. I was coming to buy my ring because I have to pay my rent. It was due a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Why you keep looking at my ring like that is real? That is real diamond? No, it doesn't. Yes, it do. No, it doesn't. Yes, it do. This lady thinks that she's some kind of expert and keeps on pestering less with the nonsense that she came up with. $200. 200 Well, what I can do is I can give you $80. $80? $80. That's the only way I'm going to find it. So you going to give me $200 or not? Well, that was pretty atrocious, asking for more than her item's worth. She might be used to getting her way elsewhere, but Les made it clear that that's not how things are going to go today. How would you Ma'am. Ma'am, what the hey, She can go. She can go. Thank you. This woman came in claiming that she'd pawned her laptop at the store, though she didn't have a pawn ticket to prove it. Fortunately, she had her ID with her. Is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Okay. If you need to see my sure. ID. Oh, there it is. There you got it. Okay, Ms. Bowie, we definitely have you for a coat, so you can go right over to the windows and make it. Unfortunately for her, her name didn't get any hits on the computer, and there was nothing that they could do about that. After all, there's no way that they can just hand her a laptop without seeing a ticket to back the whole thing up. That's my it. computer. Yes, my computer. No, you have a fur coat in front. I, and I understand that, but I have also, I have a computer. Check and give me my computer. I checked and it's not here. I mean, damn, I do a lot of business I in know. here. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. Well, if it's not there, it's not there. Now, it might just be another plot to score a free laptop off the store. But there's no way Les would let something like that happen ever. Well, I'm not going nowhere. I'm here till you get stick my computer. Ma'am, stick around. I mean, I try to live a Christian life. She's a nice, polite Christian woman. Yeah, right. If I'm stupid, you stupid. Fine. Now what? We just two stupid mother. 